My name is Krista Shombre. Close to me is my husband, Jonathan. Our testimony goes like this. On the 28th of January, 2023, it was on a Saturday to be specific. We all had dinner on this faithful day and we were preparing to go to sleep. Whereby we were thinking that our boy has went into his room to go to sleep. After an hour, we, we have learned that there were people knocking on our door. Whereby, we were like, whereby my husband was like, go away, the other one is sleeping. So, those people that were knocking on the door was one of the boys that, we, that was with our boy. We've learned that this boy didn't go to bed, but then he went out. Upon all this, we just received a phone call from our neighbors stating that our boy is unconscious outside. So, when we went out there, we, we were shocked to see all this because we didn't expect this because all along we thought that he went to sleep. So, us going out, we've just learned that he has been assaulted with the bottle. We found that he's unconscious. So there came a voice in my heart that said I should get anointing water. So I went inside, I went to get the anointing water, I have sprinkled it on his face and then in the mouth. That is the, then a the sound time. came out of him, a very good sound came out. That is the time he has regained consciousness. So after all this, we took him inside. We were trained to reach all, we were trained by all means to reach the police. We could not get through. We have called on the phone, the ambulance. The ambulance is the one that came. So we took him to the hospital. We took him to the hospital upon arriving at the hospital. So he spent the night there. The next day, which was a Sunday, that is the time the doctors have decided that they are going to do a surgery on him because there was blood that was going to his brain and blood going to the brain, that means that the brain is not functioning because the brain needs to be on its own for it to function normally. So he have went into surgery. After the surgery, the doctor said he will only wake up after 72 hours, which is close to three days, but then he didn't wake up after all these three days. So it went about a week that he wasn't responding. So he went into coma. Amen. So, and amen. I want us today to pray for a family. Amen. This uh, a man, husband of this woman. She has been there serving with us for a very long time now. So you have been a child that is in the coma for almost eight days now. Not responsive. And recently I was also in the hospital. I saw him. But I'm asking that we agree and pray for God's miracle because it does not look very good at all at all. So the issue here is that this man was injured in the streets. He went to the hospital because he was having internal bleeding. They operated on him and they said it's a success. And they even said after 72 hours, this man will wake up until today. He got operated on Sunday last week. Sunday. Now is Sunday again. No response. Let us pray for this family that God can speak for them. Prayer. Father, we thank you because you are the offer of life. You are the miracle worker. You are the one that makes everything possible. You are the designer of everything. We are praying, Father, may your will be done in their family. May your will be done in their family. May your will be done in their favor. Father, you're the one that knows everything. And you're the one that knows why everything is happening. We are praying, O oh Lord, that you raise your right hand, O oh Lord, upon this family. Let it be healing.
above all that your will be done, Christ. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus. Sister, look at me. Jesus' mighty name. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In the spirit of the name of the Lord. What is going on there? Huh? What is going on there? What is going on? What have you done? You did what? 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 You are doing what? You are distracting everything. No, I know. I saw it coming. How do I know? Huh? You know. When is this child going to wake up? When? Huh? What? What? You are bringing who apart? You see, I exposed. Let me tell you the truth. Can I tell you the truth? The truth of the matter is that if God wants to do something in your life, he raise you. And you have children. Satan. Are you hearing what the Spirit is saying? I saw you coming. I spoke to them before. But Satan continues. And he's always looking at children because children are, are weak. They are born. So now, if this child is in hospital, the people will not have peace. So you need to learn to pray for your children. And protect your children from many things. They think that you want freedom, but that is not what Because when these things happen, they happen away from you. I tell you the truth. Your children, they need God. But now, God. Can't just speak to your children. You speak to God concerning your children. You are the custodian thing. You are leaving them. You are leaving them. And this family will come apart. It will not come apart because of you. You understand? You understand? You understand? You must leave it very quickly. And you leave this family. You are pointing at me. Huh? What will you do? Me. What? What? And my wife? And my wife? What about my wife? Breaking. Breaking. Huh? But you are speaking about my wife this one. If you don't like it. Maybe I, I, I take personal everything that comes the way of my wife. Gave, to give us the anointing water, we went to the hospital to anoint him. But then, upon arriving at the hospital, the doctors were refusing. So, my husband has pleaded with the doctors. At the end, they have allowed him to anoint him. So, he have anointed him. So, on Monday, they came up with something else whereby they were saying they are going to do another surgery. So, they have done a second surgery on him. 
and then the surgery was a successful surgery so they had removed a bone from his head and then placed the bone into his head so on Tuesday when I went back to the hospital I went to anoint him again and then he has raised his hand in the air whereby it was a good sign that he's reacting so after two days they have decided that they are going to remove the pipe which was in the mouth and then place it in the neck so after two days we have went again to anoint him they have decided that they are going to remove all the pipes because he can eat and drink on his own but then they just didn't know what was happening because we were anointing him with this water we were putting the water in his mouth but then with them not knowing what we were doing that is how he was healed and he could eat and drink i just want to advise anybody that finds himself in a situation where we have been that we should run to god and not question because god is the great healer and we should put our trust in him if you are under any leadership of a man of god and a woman of god trust that with you and their prayers god will answer your prayers we want to thank god for using prophet philip now today our son is healed